Hi everyone, welcome to another Creative Suite online tutorial. In this lesson I'll be teaching you guys how to use the Color Replace tool in Fireworks CS6. So let's get this video tutorial started. I'll open up a brand new canvas page and what I'll do now is I'll go to File, Import and I'll import two images. The first one will be of a Granny Smith apple which is green and the second one will be a red apple. I'll click import and I'll import both of these images onto the canvas page. So basically in this lesson I'll be teaching you guys how to use the color replace tool to place this reddish color onto this green apple. So let's get it started. Let's go over to our tools panel. I'll select the color replace tool. If you go to properties, you'll notice some information concerning the size of your brush, um, from where the color is selected, whether it's from an image or a swatch. You want to set it to swatch, the tolerance and the strength, and you'll also have a tick box with the word colorize right beside it you want to make sure that's unticked. So for this video tutorial I'll have the tolerance set as 100, the strength set to 200, I'll have the text, the tick box unticked, I'll have the size of my swatch set to 30, I'll have the from set to swatch, and for the first swatch, um, if you click on this icon right here you'll be brought to your swatches panel and your cursor will then change to the eyedropper um, image or icon. Now if I move the cursor anywhere within the green apple you'll see that the color will change to the variant or to change to variants of green. Basically what I want to do here is I want to select the most appropriate green just like that and then where it says 2 if I click on this swatch panel, it'll do the same thing and I want to select the most appropriate red right here. So once I've done that, I'll take my brush tool or my replace color tool and I'll simply color in the green apple. Just like that. Remembering not to um, go over where you've just placed the uh, brush because that will um, that will result in uneven tints and shades of red. So just remember, just keep doing. Just keep replacing the green with that red color. Just like that. Providing even strokes. I'll cut the video short to finish the product. Hey guys, I just finished replacing the color green with the color red from this apple using the color replace tool. As you can uh, see to the left side of the screen, um, that's the finished product. Basically that's what I've created using the color replace tool. The original apple was green, now it's red. If I import the original Granny Smith apple, you'll see the difference between the two pictures. And I know the only difference is the color, but you can apply this technique to any sort of image. So basically that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learnt a lot and I hope you can use this um, technique in practical applications involving fireworks. So please subscribe to my channel, like my video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. And again, subscribe to my video. Thanks for watching.